All right, so we're checking out the only game where you get to play Noah, but all the animals on your Ark are raging, alcoholic, felonious, drug abusers. It's Ark Survive. More reverse animal abuse, damn it. Ark Survive is the most screwed up game I have ever played involving cute animals in the world. I started playing this and I immediately died at my second choice and immediately I knew I had to record this. You think I'm kidding, in the plot it actually says you never know whether a quick affair of a chinchilla and a cat will not have disastrous consequences. So apparently there's a bunch of different endings. Uh, most of them end with you dying horribly. Like apparently you die more in this than the Oregon Trail. So we're gonna try and die in every possible way we can. And then I'm gonna get that goddamn prize. I think what's odd is that I was supposed to start with 40 animals, but I've only started with 38. Did two already kill each other? I like that my god respect is at 20. That's gonna be going down so quick. The deluge has started. What will you do? I feel like no matter what I pick, I'm gonna end up dying. Check to see if everyone's on the boat or check to see if you have enough food supplies. I mean, you got carnivores, you got herbivores. Technically, there's plenty of food on the boat. Check to see if everyone's here. You build up the courage and check even the scariest places. Strolling through the corridors, you found an intruder. I like that it's a rabbit that's on the witness protection program. Find him a place to sleep. Throw him overboard. Our god respect was getting too high. We need to lower that a little bit. Maybe we'll get some respect from the carnivores. That's what you get for trespassing and not knowing how to swim, you little bunny bastard. So it's day two and we're still alive. I feel pretty good about this. Penguins insist on lowering the temperature on the ark. Lower the temperature. Call a meeting to discuss the topic. I feel like if I don't do what the penguins want, I'm gonna get shot. But I feel like if I lower the temperature, I'll also kill everything that's not a penguin. Do I need to keep all the animals alive? Live to get my prize? Let's find out. The penguins are happy, but peacocks have not survived. Why do we suddenly have more food? Oh, they're eating the peacocks, dead frozen bodies. I do appreciate that God is still like, that's yeah, right. A wild goose has appeared. Honk or greet? I feel like this is the same thing. Is a human honking at a goose an insult? Mess with the honk, you get the bonk? What? What, I just get molested to death by a goose? You little long neck bastard! I told you, day four, already dead. On a side note, the carnivores thought this was hilarious. Okay, what happens if I find the rabbit a place to sleep? I mean, I'm still alive, so that's the right answer. The dogs agreed to accept the intruder, but there's nothing to sleep on. Not my problem. Take your shirt off and fill it with hay. I feel like both of these are going to get me killed. Why is there a lion on the take my shirt off option? I gotta try it. We're gonna get eaten, aren't we? The night was extremely cold. You died of hypothermia. Day three. God was never so happy than when I died. This game is sick. Okay, check everyone. Take the rabbit. Tell him to go f*** himself. He ran away. Everyone is annoyed by this. Wait, like he ran away on the ship or he ran away into the water? Monkeys demand raising food rations because, as they say, they want to get swole. Every time this game gives me an option, I feel like there's no good choice here. If I give the monkeys the food, I'm probably going to get my neck snapped, like WWE style. If I don't give them food, they'll probably kill me in my sleep. Maybe if they're weak, the other carnivores will help me out. The monkeys are pissed. I like that this is the only response. Monkeys are pissed. It's gonna leave the next one to the imagination. Monkeys started a riot. They are tearing up the ship. Give them what they want or fight. I mean, I, I said I would die in every way possible. With the help of God, you survive. But mouse deer tried to stop you and suffered a deadly wound. Mouse deer, no! I didn't even know you were on the ship. All I can imagine is that he stepped between me and the monkeys and then he got kicked like a field goal. Your ship has a couple of holes that started leaking. Send kangaroos for repair. Ah. Uh... This, this is not a kangaroo. Don't even mind the do it yourself. This is not a kangaroo. I have to click on this. Seriously, all animals disapprove. I knew it wasn't a kangaroo, you trap bastard. You lost respect among animals. Teach them some tricks, increase food. Is one of the tricks them killing me and eating my body. Because of a series of unfortunate events, you have been rammed to death by a rhino. This sentence is awful. I seriously haven't even made it past a week yet. I chose something different this time. I went to go check to see if everything was on the ship. It appears you don't have enough water. Ask God for help. Build a contraption distilling flood water. I'm starting to see a pattern in this game. Whatever seems like the right answer immediately gets you slaughtered. Let me guess, the contraption is going to gain sentience and strangle me to death. 
God did not like that you are trying to overcome an obstacle with science. You were struck by lightning. I died on day two now. This is a new record. I don't think I've ever died this many times in a choice game in my life. Okay, ask God for help. God says you're a wise man and you will come up with something yourself. Are you seriously just leading me to kill myself again? Ignore or build the contraption. Surely we wouldn't get struck by lightning twice. Congrats, you have a semi-efficient source of water. Oh, now science is okay. This is some bullshit. Monkeys want the food ration up. Sure, give them the food. Now you have monkey bodyguards. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of amazing. A wild goose has appeared. Do not honk at the goose. The goose bites your leg. You little ungrateful. You see a stream of blood going down your leg. Panic or ask for help. Gotta get that KD ratio up. In your panic running, you hit your head and faint. Oh, I'm still alive. God finds you and offers you a massage to calm you down. Why is there an ellipsis before the massage? That's what I need right now. Nah, I'm good. What happens when you turn down the massage? God is embarrassed and distracts you with a heavy storm, which floods part of the ship and the elephant. I like how my poor choices just killed an elephant. Orcs are playing around the ark at dawn, shaking the ark quite strongly, which annoys sleepy animals. What the hell are orcs? That is not an animal. Shout and curse to make them go away. Allow them to play, but at given hours. You have to follow a strict curfew. Animals are slightly dissatisfied. 10% more chance of survival in water. I like how the more the animals want me dead, the more they're willing to survive just to watch me die. When you go out on deck in the morning, you see some strange marks. Is it from our confidential informant rabbit? Examine. Among paw prints, you find some white fur. Search the ship. Ask nocturnal animals if they saw anything. Why is this goose here? Every time I see this goose, it either bites my leg or honks me to death. I swear to God, goose, if I click on you and you kill me, I'm gonna use your neck like a jump rope. You do not find anything noteworthy, except you notice the goose is collecting tribute. My brain is like struggling to process this. This goose is an asshole. Why do we allow him on this ship? Carnivores, do something about this. In the morning, you are woken up by a commotion. It appears that a beaten bat is lying on the deck. This isn't an ark. It's like prison. It's like some bat just got a beat down to get initiated into a gang. Forget everything for your own safety. Screw that. We're asking the owl. The owl says that she saw someone hit the bat, but unfortunately due to her poor eyesight, she only saw black and white spots. I mean, day 12. Once again, you are woken up by a commotion. This time around under the mast lies the owl's body. <laughs> my God, someone's kicking the shit out of all my animals. Suggest a rumba dance. It's time to give up. We're never giving up. Honestly, I just slowly want every animal on the ship to get the piss beaten out of them. Damn it. You've been a terrible leader to the carnivores. They were tired of your bossing around. You were eaten. I'm like the worst Noah in the entire planet. All that happens is everyone gets the hell kicked out of them on my watch and then I get eaten or struck by lightning. So um, when the blood was running down my leg, uh, I decided to ask God for help because I figured, you know, God turns your blood to wine, you dead. <laughs> D-E-D, dead. This game hates me. The game hates me with a burning passion. It's like someone took the Oregon Trail, fed it tons of cocaine and GHB, and this is what we have now. So I decided to uh, give the rioting monkeys some extra food, and instead of becoming my bodyguards, they all died. Okay, sending the kangaroos was the wrong answer. I guess I'll do this myself. You missed the feeding time of hippos. They're dead now too. The ark is leaking. Repair with duct tape. I like how no matter what time period we were in, it doesn't matter. There's always duct tape. Like if duct tape is in a sentence, I actually have to use it. It's duct tape. So the ship is operational. Of course it is. A chinchilla named Hedwig comes to you. Invite her inside. Tell her to get lost. I mean, I need more animals because I've already lost three. Sad Hedwig settled in your cabin. She's like, I'm so sad. And I'm like, why are you sad? And she's like, because it's day nine and you're still alive. Chinchilla reveals that she has an affair with Steven the cat. Punish her. Show understanding. I mean... We have weaknesses. <laughs> Hedwig sobs on your thigh. Chinchilla asks you for advice on how to solve her love problem. Advise her to break up with the cat. Advise to get rid of the competition. Yeah, we're really low on food. 
So uh, if you could just get rid of whoever else is pissing you off in your love life, that would really help us out. Hedwig, happy with your help, left the cabin. Parents report that the body of a dead cat has been found. Start an investigation or ignore. Technically, I was the cause of this, so let's just pretend nothing happened. Animal morale is falling due to increased crime. This isn't an arc, it's like a slum. In a dream, God asks, do you like potatoes? I don't, I don't know what the right answer for this is. Say you find them delicious. Roast them like Gordon Ramsay roasts a raw chicken. Hell yes. Fuck. You destroyed the divine plan. You had to die. <laughs> Negative 92 respect. I told the chinchilla to get lost this time because she's a cheating hoe and it says the next day it turned out that Jeanette the cat ate her. <laughs> I'm guessing Jeanette the cat was the dead cat that was left on the deck. I told the orcs to shut up and it says God is pissed off and throws you overboard. You are then eaten by the orcs. I decided to um, accept the massage from God. That was a bad idea. You enjoy yourself a little too much and that's illegal. So now you're dead. What? You think you can win? <laughs> illegal. Okay. We're back at the point where the bat is getting beaten. Okay, ask the owl. Okay, don't dance, just give up. You're going back to your cabin. You feel something is wrong. Oh, shit. What the hell? Someone threw a colander at your door? Where the hell did we get a colander from? Do it, it's time to stop. I already stopped, what more do you want? Better be careful. Pastafarians are a devious sect. Lions argue. The lioness demands that the lion sleep elsewhere, but today's evening under the stars belongs to the herbivores. Take the lioness's side. Herbivores night is for herbivores only. Legit, this is this is not actually running an arc at this point. I'm I am commanding a city. I have to deal with every social issue known to animal kind. The carnivores already hate me, so I have to take the lioness's side. God, respect is one. You make the lion sit in the corner. Okay, we came to a compromise with the penguins about the temperature of the ark. So I have a choice. Take the day off, clean the stable. Haven't been kicked by a horse to death yet. What, really? Unfortunately, the horses have diarrhea. You died from the stench. This game is in fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take a day off. You forgot that it's always raining. What now? Lie down, check on the animals. Oh, let's check on the animals. You start strolling on the deck. That is not where this is gonna end. You notice that the lions want to enlarge the family. Ah, uh, one of the options is join them. What am I gonna do to help the lions enlarge the family? I don't wanna click on this, but I have to click on this. You nasty and now you dead. <laughs> okay, ignore the lions. The lion population increases. Okay, the carnivores are going up now. Good. Here's the unfaithful chinchilla. You go to hell. Punish her. Hedwig runs out of the cabin. The next day, you find her dead. She hanged herself on a blade of grass. The chinchilla hung herself i this game all right yeah you know what i'm it doesn't even surprise me anymore all i did just now was not dance for a day and my meniscus ruptured and it killed me you know what game you can you can suck my dick's kiss i made it so that the lion didn't have to sleep on the couch and the lioness is pissed and it says the lioness rebels females of other species <laughs> no i made it to day 18 it's like i don't want to die now originally i had i had planned to die in every possible way i didn't know that you could die like 800 different ways <laughs> Please, just let me live. You organize evenings only for girls once a week. Not you, you goose son of a bitch. Okay, I'm on day 18. I snuck out of my cabin late at night to go dance. And it says you see the shadow disappearing below the deck. It's a rather large animal. You know that the perpetrator has white spots. It's a zebra. You have to think what animals match this description. I love that it has white spots. It's a zebra. Oh boy. A panda or a zebra. Panda. Zebra. Panda? Yes! Panda's nowhere to be found. Make delicious bamboo. Practice karate with the tiger. I'm on day 20 for God's sakes. All of my stats are so good. We're making bamboo. The smell spreads all around the ark. Come here, you little panda bastard. Throwing colanders at my door. 
beating up bats and owls and sh You think you can come to my town, beat up my animals, throw kitchen supplies? Got another thing coming. Unexpectedly, the panda appears, asking what you're doing. Rude answer, calm answer. I mean, it, it's a panda. Calm answer? The panda asks if you haven't seen his favorite colander. Oh, I've seen it, Mr. Panda. Or should I say, Mr. Violent Abusive Jackass. Colander, panda, large, black and white. There's only one answer. Panda goes to Pastafarian meetings. Panda tries to impress female by cooking Pastafarian. You never find out that he killed. That's, that's not like a full sentence. Never find out that he killed. What? Oh my God, I'm on day 30. Please let this pain end. No, I don't want to investigate. I'm almost there. We're back at the panda. Calm answer. Yeah. Yes, fly, Mr. Bird. Fly like my soul, leaving my body and having to put myself through the agony of this game. You did it somehow. If you came here and saw the new world and a list of people because of whom the apocalypse happened, you endured the 40 day deluge and saved 36 animals, and you didn't go insane. Now you can start a peaceful life. Only you and the animals. What more could you possibly want? I know that the prize was supposed to be here, but the journey is the biggest reward. I'm gonna buy a table at the thrift store so I can put it in this room and flip it. In the end, we saved almost everything except for the elephant and the cat. But no one loved them anyway. We did it. We survived the ark, which was harder than performing friggin' brain surgery. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Ark Survive. Until next time, stay foxy, much love. <laughs>